The COVID-19 pandemic has changed our lives, forcing us to reconsider our built environments. Restaurants, hospitals, and workplaces reconfigured their layouts and policies to minimize the risk of infection. Still, the dynamics of human-building interactions creates a challenge for evaluating the effects of virus transmission in advance. In this paper, we propose a system called Oxim, a multi-agent occupant simulation for COVID-19. Oxim helps analyze virus transmission in the early design stages. First, we implemented virtual humans with agency that react to a given 3D environment. Our system automatically simulates each occupant's behavior using a state machine scheduler. The generated activities are based on their role and the geometry of the building. We also incorporated nine contagion-related behaviors, such as breathing and surface touching. Next, we layered on two modes of virus transmission. For air-based transmission, Oxim generates a grid that spans the virtual environment. Each cell has a contamination value which diffuses and decays over time. Virus particles enter the air from contagious individuals at a rate that depends on whether the infected agent is breathing, talking, coughing, or sneezing. Every inhale, occupants take in a certain ratio of virus particles from the current cell, which could lead to infection. For surface-based transmission, we keep track of the contamination of hands and objects in the built environment. These contamination levels also decay over time. Virus particles are transferred to and from surfaces throughout touch interactions. Surfaces can also be disinfected through cleaning events. A key part of Oxim is its user interface. The interface helps users evaluate their design decisions by customizing the simulation and analyzing these various configurations. From the interface, users can import a 3D building model and set the number of occupants to simulate. Oxim helps users explore different ways to configure the built environment. This can be done at a low level, for example, by enabling desks in an office or closing off tables in a restaurant. Higher level configurations can be explored by moving or relocating furniture. Users can configure occupant behaviors by adjusting a wide range of parameters. Default settings for various roles are provided, but roles can be customized to support different industries or contexts. Users can also adjust parameters that define how the virus spreads and decays in the air and on surfaces. Oxim provides two types of visualizations. Users can navigate the 3D building and evaluate the risk of virus transmission using situated visualizations. When the simulation is complete, the system provides a heat map showing air contamination throughout the built environment. Users can view the heat map at any point in time, analyzing how the virus propagated and which occupants it affected. The system also plots infectivity over time for selected occupants and objects, revealing the effects of interaction among people, surfaces, and shared spaces. Our preliminary evaluation with stakeholders confirms Oxim's potential, not only as a space evaluation tool, but also as a decision support and visualization tool. Based on the results, we reflect on our design and discuss potential implications of Oxim for various research domains.